Hello ladies and gentlemen, just wanted to make a quick video today to answer some questions uh, that we're just going to cover the basics of the height map and mob spawning. So let's get into it. So I just want to make a brief video. If you want a lot more details on this subject, check out the uh, videos by Methods and Logical Geek Boy on dissecting Minecraft uh, or Nembom's videos on his fun farm series, specifically the uh, Enderman farm one. They talk about this subject a lot more in depth. This is just going to be to kind of explain the basics because when I learned this, it completely changed the way that I thought about mob spawning. In front of me here, I have a representation of four chunks in Minecraft, what they look like going all the way down to bedrock, all the way up to the top. And what I want to talk about is first the height map. What the height map is, it is the top block in a X and Z coordinate. So going this way and going this way, the top block in that coordinate makes up that height map. So for this chunk right here, this would be what the height map is like. So this height map here is representing these four chunks right here. And we can see, so that would be the top of each block. Now, notice I'm saying block, uh, but it's not just necessarily what you think of as just a grass block here. Right here we see we have flat with a couple of flowers. Over here we have not flat because those flowers, this grass, all that stuff is included in that height map. So any non-air block in a block brings the height map all the way up from negative 64 or zero in the other dimensions, all the way up to where this block is in that X and Z coordinate. We can see over here, I have this nether portal right here. And right over here, underneath it, we don't have any of the height map there it goes all the way to the top of this portal so that is the height map so if a specific x and z is chosen uh, for a spawning attempt then it can go all the way up to the top block in this scenario so when the game gets to the part of the tick where it's going to spawn mobs it first picks a random x and z coordinate so it picks that random x and z where those intersect is the column that is chosen for spawning and then it's going to choose a random Y value inside that column that is chosen at that intersection. The Y value is going to be between the bottom of the world, so in the overall negative 64, and the top of the height map for that column, so in this case 71. So that's 135 blocks. So that means if we want to get a mob to spawn on this spot right here, we have a 1 in 136 chance to get that mob spawning here when this column is chosen for the spawn attempt. One of the other things uh, that doesn't really change mechanics, but is interesting to know is in each tick, that spawn attempt still happens. So let's say that this block is the one that's chosen and this is air. I'm just representing it with this red glass. This would fail because a mob can't spawn in air. However, the game is still going to attempt a spawn there. So just because it's air or it's covered with glass or it has pressure plates or buttons on it, that doesn't mean the game can't try and spawn on it. The game will just constantly try and spawn everywhere. And only if that place is spawnable will then a successful spawn attempt take place. This is why you see a lot of people saying online when they make recommendations about building farms to build them as low as possible in the world. So here, if I have a spawning platform at Y level 60, uh, sorry, negative 60, so maybe for like a slime chunk that you dug out or something like that, this now has a one in five chance of this being successfully chosen because there is nothing but air above it. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that building lower in the world is automatically good. It needs to have that height map removed in order for it to take effect. So if I build that spawning platform right there, but I still have blocks above it on the height map, that block down there, that spawning platform, is now still a 1 in 136 chance. So just by having these blocks up here, you've raised that height map all the way up and greatly reduced the chances of getting a spawn attempt. Over here, I'm going to show that where we have a spawning platform down at negative 64. So if I come up here and time set midnight, you can see how fast those mobs actually start spawning because now that it's at negative 64, there's a one in two chance that that block will get picked for a spawn attempt. So we are already at mob cap with this. Whereas if I come over to here, 
where I have a spawning platform at Y0. So from zero to negative 64, it has a one in 65 chance of spawning. You can see how much longer this is gonna to take to actually fill up. Two spawns. Two spawns. So that's why you see it representing as uh, you want to build it as low in the world as possible when you find advice online. Now, if I take that same spawning platform down at Y negative 64 and I add blocks above it, so even though we still have all full air up there, you can see how long this is going to take to actually fill in. So we're now getting those same kind of spawn rates, except for the bats, uh, as we are on that other platform. So we've affected that height map. So we're still getting some spawns here because it's an open spawning platform, but that's significantly slower than before. So if you are going to clear out chunks for some kind of farm down there, and it's going to involve mob spawning, you wanna make sure that you also clear out the height map as well. So every block in that column that raises the height map, which again is every non-air block. And this would also apply to the nether too. Even if I cleared out a bunch of chunks of the nether, all the way down to Y0, uh, and I just had a spawning platform there. Because I have the bedrock ceiling above me, that still raises the height map all the way up to 127. So this is still a, 100, a 1 in 128 chance to get picked for that spawn. So the only way to bring that height map all the way down is to get that bedrock removed so that over your spawning area and your spawning skirt, you have all the way down to where you want it to start. Now, I mentioned the term spawning skirt, and that's another thing that I wanna cover on here is uh, mob pack spawning. And that also deals with our height map as well. You may notice here, this layer of dirt was significantly larger than our little platform down there. And that's because down at this level, even if I was to leave some blocks up there, because I have it all clear out here, I'm gonna get pack spawns coming into my spawning platform. So we have a platform of dirt here, and let's say that this block right here gets picked for a spawn attempt of a zombie. This uh, right now would fail because it's daytime, but if this had the correct block light, this would succeed. It's a spawnable block there, and so a zombie would spawn there. The game is not done there. Once it tr starts its spawn attempt on the zombie, whether or not this fails, so let's say this block here was the spawn attempt, it fails, it's now going to continue its pack spawning attempts. And what that is, is the game will then move five blocks in a random direction. So one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't have to be in a straight line, it could be one, two, three, four, five, so it can loop around like that. And then it's going to see if it's a valid spawn attempt. And in this case, it's going to say, nope, not a valid spawn attempt. Most mobs in the game have a pack size of four, so this still has two more times to go. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five. In this instance, if this was the correct block light, this would be a successful song. And then it does its next one, two, three, uh, let's say four, five. And this one would be successful. So even though the spawn attempt started here, we still have a chance of getting two zombies out of that spawn. That could be zombies, skeletons, almost all the mobs in the game have a pack spawning. So these pack spawns, your max possible efficiency to have that skirt is gonna be uh, 20 blocks out. Because each time it attempts that spawn, what it's going to do is it's gonna pick a uh, number between uh, one and five, randomly on the X and then randomly on the Z. Uh, and then it's going to move in that direction. So, you know, I was showing it earlier with it kind of snaking over like this. It doesn't actually do that when it picks it. So it's going to pick, let's say it picks three and then it picks two. So it would be there. So it's going to move in those random directions. So you theoretically can have a chance of a failed attempt starting here. And then it picking five and five. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five here. Have another failed attempt there. And then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, there, there. And then you could have one spawn right there. So I'll show you here in the one where we have the area of dirt above it. If I fill that area of air back in with glass so that we have uh, some attemptable spawnable blocks there with the height map being raised up with that piece of glass.
we can see that we're getting mobs a little bit faster. And you'll notice they're on the edges there because they're actually coming in as pack spawns in this these instances. That's why you'll see these skirts of some kind of spawn proofed block. So here we have uh, pressure plates. Here we have stone slabs. Here's trap doors, glass. We can have spawn attempts start out here. And maybe it wanders over here, wanders over here, and then we get one in there. In this case, we only got one. Sometimes you're actually getting, you know, so we get a failed attempt here, but then successful, successful, successful. So we're getting three out of that, but you're still getting an increase of rates. It's not going to, you know, double, triple, anything like that, but you're still going to see an increase in rates because those spawn attempts can start on the skirt and get pulled. Uh, we have pulled, I guess, isn't the right word, wander into your spawning platform. The reason that is, is because this skirt that's sticking out now raises the height map of all this area. So over here, you can't have any spawn attempts wandering into your spawn platform because the height map here is down at negative 64. Whereas here on the side, the height map has been raised over here all the way up to zero. So now it's on the same level there. Again, you're not doubling or tripling any rates with this, but you're raising the surrounding height map. You also only need to put that pack spawning skirt at the very top layer of your farm because if you have, even if you have a bunch of spawning platforms down here, out here, the height map is still raised up to this level right here. Another thing to note in this instance that I actually have set up here, this is actually bad because right here, this pressure plate is one Y level above this. So that's actually going to add one more. What you actually want to have is you want to have that at your top spawning layer. Exactly. So in this case, I would actually want to have it like that because it's going to attempt to spawn on top of this pressure plate as well. So the same Y level as our spawning platform. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, hopefully that answers questions you had. Uh, if it raises more questions, then by all means, continue to check out again, that dissecting Minecraft series with logical geek boy and methods. That's a great resource. Uh, they have a couple of videos. I think it's episodes 10 and 11. If I remember correctly, uh, check out the Enderman farm episodes by Nembom. And uh, then be sure to ask around on the tech community if you're if you're not sure about something. We'd love to answer your questions. I feel like this is one of those things in mob spawning that really gets ignored when it gets explained because it seems like it's a difficult concept. But really think of it as just picking a random X and Z where those intersect, picking the top block in that column and then picking a random location in between the bottom of the world and that top block and then starting spawn attempts. So let me know down in the comments if you have any more questions. Check me out on Twitch, and I hope to see you later. Have a good one. Bye.